week long, RTV6 is looking into school safety across multiple districts throughout central Indiana. We're asking each district the same questions and bringing you their school safety plan. We're working for you so you know what your school is doing to keep students safe. RTV6's Paris LaBelle has more on the biggest district in our state, Indianapolis Public Schools. IPS is one of the bigger districts we looked at and they have a special line of defense when it comes to school security. It's the biggest school district in the state with more than 31,000 students in 88 different schools. The district's security and safety plan is massive. You can't educate your students if students don't feel safe, secure. One of the issues that is unique to IPS is making sure schools and high crime areas remain secure. When issues come up, our goal is to make sure that we use those as learning opportunities. Documents provided to RTV6 show some of those details of those plans. One of them is creating secured entries at different schools. Things like adding an interior interior set of doors and reconfiguring offices at the front of the building so people can't just walk into the school. IPS is also one of the only districts in the state with its own full police department. 100% police department and on top of that is something that uh, makes us unique is the fact that they're truly trained in the same way that state, county, and local law enforcement agencies are trained. While many districts around the state have school resource officers from local departments, a full police department is able to focus 100% of their time and effort on patrol controlling the schools. We have a really tight relationship with Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department and making sure that they have a really strong communication line to our uh, IPS Police Department. That's really unique. While IPS couldn't release all the specifics of their school safety plan, they did confirm they are using handheld metal detectors at schools and have requested more from the state. IPS says they also do man-made hazard drills and lockdown drills three times a school year. But they say the bigger piece for IPS is building relationships. I think we're doing well when it comes to thinking outside of the box and really honing in on building strong relationships with our students in our local community. IPS says they're constantly reviewing their school security plan and also looking at any potential threats along with IMPD. Reporting tonight, Paris LaBelle, RTV6.